Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Paul. In the last video I showed you the unboxing of the FPV drone called DJI Avada. This is the Explorer combo. In this video I'm going to take you through three days of me learning to fly it. Now I'm going to be using this remote which is the FPV controller that comes in the package and uh, I'm just going to be flying in my backyard figure out how to use the goggles, what all the buttons do, and the basics of the remote to fly around obstacles in my backyard. Stay tuned and uh, watch the following video of my progression and hopefully you'll get an idea of how quickly you can learn how to fly with this remote. It's not as difficult but there is a little bit of a learning curve as I found out on day one um, by crashing the drone. The drone did survive pretty much unscratched. Day 2 is a little bit more successful. I'm able to, my backyard opens up onto a river, so I'm able to fly out there a little bit. Day 3, uh, different conditions, different lighting conditions. So you get to see uh, the difference between image quality of something like a GoPro and the camera on the FPV drone. So on day 3, it's a beautiful snowy day and I just waited for the end of the snowfall and just flew it right afterwards. And I'm just going to conclude the flight by flying a little bit through my kitchen and inside the house. At this point I've completed five flights and so I thought I'd show you the progression of the first three flights. I'm brand new to FPV drones. I will, hopefully I will put out another video sometime, um, maybe next week, of days four and five, where I do actually take it out to a beach and get up to speed and do some flying maneuvers. That's gonna be interesting, so watch that video as well. And I just wanna say thank you for all the new subscribers. Uh, there's quite a few people that joined up. All right, here we go, day one. After completing a pre-flight checklist uh, that everything was functioning correctly, I was ready to take off. So this is the first flight ever. It took me a little bit time to figure out which buttons to press to even get it started. In preparation, I watched the tutorial on DJI's YouTube channel, but I'm really a hands-on learner, so it's not until I try something that I learn. That did not go as well as I wanted. All right, here we go. Attempt number two at light and successful takeoff. Nothing I could do. It seemed as though it was ignoring my commands. I was just getting attracted to a bush every single time. Here we go, attempt number three. All right, finally, attempt number four.
I still can't really control it, and the drone's trying to fly into this rose bush no matter what I do. If it wasn't probably for the propeller guards, uh, it would have been uh, down because the blades would have caught on some of the leaves. But I finally salvaged it and faced it the proper way and made it out of the patio into the backyard. All right, this is good. Finally figured out how to make it hover and how to have it turn left. And to make it turn right. So making progress, going up a little bit for a closer view. Have to clear the bushes. This day was a typical Southern Ontario winter day with very moody colors and overcast skies. So, so the camera's dynamic range really comes into play here. It has to uh, compensate for the really clear bright sky while the shadows are very dark because of the lack of the sunshine. And as you can see it's struggling a little bit. Trying to get the exposure right uh, and changing light conditions is always a struggle for any camera. But the smaller the sensor, the harder it is. So I'm finally getting, beginning to get a feel of the responsiveness of the remote. Trying not to overcompensate. I guess it's a little bit like a boat. You can really oversteer if you do it too quickly, especially at lower speeds. So just turn my wrist left or right makes it steer left or right. And just uh, pointing it down makes it pitch down and pointing it up makes it pitch up. So it's pretty intuitive, except maybe for a bit of a delay between you turning your wrist and the aircraft responding. So I still mostly have the goggles off as I find it a lot easier to judge depth my depth perception is a lot better and I'm able to avoid obstacles better, especially obstacles that are nearby. And I'm still trying to adjust to how it feels to have them on. And here's a close-up view of my chewed up flip-flops my dog loves to chew. Alright, at the end of the first flight, I felt like I had a pretty good idea how to make it steer and I knew how to make it go up and how to land. Those are the main skills that I picked up that day. Day 2. Here we go. Beautiful sunny winter day with a red ship passing by on the river. Really wanted to chase after it, but by the time I cleared the trees, it wouldn't have been possible anyway. With a sunny day, the camera has a much easier time exposing properly and you can really see into the shadows here into the bushes a lot better than you did on the first day where it just looked like a black blotch of color.
All right, here we go. Day number three. I feel a lot more confident. I feel like I know what I'm doing at this point. I know how to take off. I know how to land. Uh, I know how to steer. And I'm really looking forward to this flight on this beautiful snowy day. Probably the last snowy day of this winter. All right, and here you can clearly see the different color temperature of the GoPro versus the DJI Avada camera. Avada has a lot more warmer colors, a lot more browns and reds, whereas uh, the GoPro by default is a lot cooler, bluish looking. <laughs> 